Hello, my name is Dr Alan Kerry. I'm a GP trainer in the South End GP Vocational Training Scheme. In this podcast, I will discuss the NICE guidelines for referrals for suspected cancer with Dr Sunil Gupta, who is also a GP trainer. For further information, please look at National Institute for Health and Clinical Excellence website, which is at www.nice.org.uk. If you're listening to this presentation along with the PowerPoint, the slides will change automatically. And if you're using it as part of a tutorial, can we strongly suggest that you pause the presentation at various points and discuss the recommendations uh, amongst yourselves? In this podcast, we will discuss the referral guidelines for suspected cancers of lung, upper GI, lower GI, breast, gynaecological, urological, haematological, skin, head and neck, thyroid, brain and CNS, bone and sarcoma, as well as suspected cancers in children and young people. Sunil, what is the rationale for these guidelines? The rationale for these guidelines are that there have been recent improvements seen in diagnosis and treatment of cancer patients, but there are still some patients not being referred urgently, leading to a delay in treatment. This guideline helps practitioners distinguish between common symptoms associated with common illnesses and those that might indicate cancer. What are the cancer referral timelines? There are three cancer referral timelines, immediate referral, urgent referral and non-urgent referral. Immediate referral means acute admission or referral within a few hours. Urgent referral means the patient is seen within two weeks. And non-urgent referral means all other referrals. In the first of four sections of this podcast, we are going to talk about suspected lung cancer, upper GI cancer and lower GI cancer. So starting with lung cancer, when does NICE say there should be an immediate referral for suspected lung cancer? We should consider immediate referral for patients with signs of superior vena caval obstruction, which are swelling of the face stroke neck with fixed elevation of jugular venous pressure, and we should also consider immediate referral for patients with stridor. What about urgently referring for lung cancer? We should refer urgently in four situations. One, persistent hemoptysis in smokers or ex-smokers aged 40 years and older. Two, a chest x-ray suggestive of lung cancer, including pleural effusion and slowly resolving consolidation. Three, a normal chest x-ray, but where there is a high suspicion of lung cancer. And the fourth situation where we should refer urgently is where there's a history of asbestos exposure and recent onset of chest pain, shortness of breath or unexplained systemic symptoms where chest chest x-ray indicates pleural effusion, pleural mass or any suspicious lung pathology. When should an urgent chest x-ray be carried out? There are three situations where we should refer urgently for a chest x-ray and in these situations the report should be returned within five days. So the three situations are hemoptysis, unexplained or persistent, I longer than three weeks, and the symptoms are chest and or shoulder pain, dyspnea, weight loss, chest signs, hoarseness, finger clubbing, cervical or supraclavicular lymphadenopathy, cough or features suggestive metastasis from a lung cancer, for example secondaries in the brain, bone, liver or skin. And the third situation where we should refer urgently for a chest x-ray is where there's underlying chronic respiratory problems with unexplained changes in existing symptoms. We now move on to the referral guidelines for upper gastrointestinal cancer. When should there be an urgent referral for endoscopy or to a specialist? We should refer urgently for endoscopy or to a specialist. Patients of any age with dyspepsia and any of the following seven symptoms or signs. One, chronic gastrointestinal bleeding. Two, dysphagia. Three, progressive unintentional weight loss, 
4. Persistent vomiting 5. Iron deficiency anemia 6. Epigastric mass and 7. Suspicious barium meal result We should refer urgently patients presenting with any of the four following symptoms or signs 1. Dysphagia 2. Unexplained upper abdominal pain and weight loss with or without back pain 3. Upper abdominal mass without dyspepsia and 4. Obstructive jaundice depending on the clinical state where we may want to consider an urgent ultrasound if available. We should consider an urgent referral for patients presenting with one of three possible situations. 1. Persistent vomiting and weight loss in the absence of dyspepsia. 2. Unexplained weight loss or iron deficiency anemia in the absence of dyspepsia. And the third situation where we should consider urgent referral is unexplained worsening of dyspepsia and Barrett's esophagus or known dysplasia atrophic gastritis or intestinal metaplasia or peptic ulcer surgery over 20 years ago. We should do an urgent endoscopy referral for patients aged 55 years and older with unexplained and persistent recent onset dyspepsia alone. Moving on to lower gastrointestinal cancer, when do the guidelines suggest we should make an urgent referral for lower GI cancer? The guidelines suggest there are seven situations where we should refer patients urgently. One, aged 40 years and older, reporting rectal bleeding with a change of bowel habit towards looser stools and or increased stool frequency persisting six weeks or more. Two, age 60 years and older, with rectal bleeding, persisting for six weeks or more, even if they do not have a change in bowel habit and even if they don't have anal symptoms. Two, age 60 years and older, with rectal bleeding, persisting for six weeks or more, without a change in bowel habit and without anal symptoms. Three, age 60 years and older, with a change in bowel habit to looser stools and or more frequent stools persisting for six weeks or more without rectal bleeding. Four, of any age with right lower abdominal mass consistent with involvement of the large bowel. Five, of any age with a palpable rectal mass. We're talking intraluminal and not pelvic. If a pelvic mass is outside the bowel, that should warrant an urgent referral to your urologist or gynaecologist. And the two other situations where we should refer urgently are number six, men of any age with unexplained iron deficiency anemia and a haemoglobin of 11 gram, grams per deciliter or below, and seven, non menstruating women with unexplained iron deficiency anemia and a haemoglobin of 10 grams per deciliter or below. Thank you. In the second of the four sections of this podcast, we'll move on to discuss suspected breast cancer, gynaecological cancer and urological cancers. So starting with suspected breast cancer, when should there be an urgent referral? The NICE guidelines describe eight situations when we should do an urgent referral. One, of any age with a discrete hard lump with fixation with or without skin tethering. Two, female patients aged 30 years and older with a discrete lump that persists after their next period or presents after menopause. Three, women aged younger than 30 years with a lump that enlarges with a lump that is fixed and hard and in whom there are other reasons for concern such as family history. Four, patients of any age with previous breast cancer who present with a further lump or suspicious symptoms. Five, patients with unilateral extemitous skin or nipple change that does not respond to topical treatment. Six, 
patients with nipple distortion of recent onset. 7. Patients with spontaneous unilateral bloody nipple discharge. And 8. Male patients aged 50 years and older with a unilateral firm sub-areolar mass with or without nipple distortion or associated skin changes. And at present, when should we consider a non-urgent referral for women with breast symptoms? At present, we should consider a non-urgent referral in women aged younger than 30 years with a lump and in patients with breast pain and no palpable abnormality when initial treatment fails and or with unexplained persistent symptoms. The use of mammography in these patients is not recommended. Moving on to the NICE referral guidelines for suspected gynaecological cancer, when should an urgent referral be carried out? The NICE guidelines say an urgent referral should be carried out in six situations. One, with clinical features suggestive of cervical cancer on examination. A smear test is not required before referral and a previous negative result should not delay referral. Two, not on hormone replacement therapy with postmenopausal bleeding. Three, women on hormone replacement therapy with persistent or unexplained postmenopausal bleeding after cessation of hormone replacement therapy for six weeks. Four, women taking tamoxifen who present with postmenopausal bleeding. Five, women with an unexplained vulval lump. And six, women with vulval bleeding due to ulceration. We should consider an urgent referral for patients with persistent intermenstrual bleeding and a negative pelvic examination. And when should we refer a patient for an urgent ultrasound scan? We should refer urgently for an ultrasound scan patients with a palpable abdominal or pelvic mass on examination that is not obviously uterine fibroids or not of gastrointestinal or urological origin. If the scan is suggestive of cancer, an urgent referral should be made. If urgent ultrasound is not available, an urgent referral should be made. This concludes part one of this presentation. Part two is also available here at YouTube, or you can find the link at www.southessexgptraining.co.uk.